Okay, and another interesting shootout today. On the left, we've got a Dell Inspiron 14 Plus 7441 model, which has a Snapdragon X Plus and 16 gigs of RAM. So this is uh, one of the new Copilot PCs from Dell. And on the right, we've got a Surface Laptop 9. Now this is the Intel variant. It has a 12th generation uh, i7 processor. It's a U model, so um, not the most performant, as we've seen before. Uh, it also has 16 gigs of RAM. So um, interesting to see how these two get on. Obviously the Surface Laptop has the advantage of being native. The Dell um, running an ARM processor, um, having to emulate um, Intel uh, X64 uh, in this case for FL Studio, which is obviously not native yet to uh, ARM. Anyway, before I start blabbering, let's um, kick these off and see how we get on. And here we go. So the first thing I give you will be the Dell on the left, and it's a percentage of processor. Uh, as determined by ImageLine, the makers of um, FL Studio. The second one will be the Surface Laptop. So off the blocks we've got 13-14% uh, on the left from the Dell, 21% uh, on the right from the Surface Laptop Pro 9. So the um, Surface Laptop, although it's native, having to work harder, having to use more of a percentage of its processing power at that point, now looking at 14% versus 20%. Um, it's normally quite interesting when it gets into the faster section, which is coming up. You'll see it uh, on the right-hand side creeping up. At the moment we're looking at 13% versus 19%. 13% um, versus 19% and we're going into the faster section now. So let's see if that makes a difference. 21% um, versus 24%. 21% versus 24%. And we're going to hit that section now, see if that makes a difference. Okay, 23% versus, oh, 27% rather, looking again, versus 28%. 26% versus 26%. 27% versus 27%. 27% versus 27%. So interesting, now we've gone into uh, having to use a little bit more um, processing power. They're actually even Stevens, which is very interesting. And good to know. Now this is the uh, lower spec of the Snapdragon um, X series of uh, chips, but it's a system on a chip. And I think the bit that emulates um, X64 is the same with the Elite and the uh, Plus model. Um, correct me on that if I'm wrong, but that seems to be my experience so far. 27% versus 28%, 29% versus 30%. 28% versus 28%. Okay, let's knock it on the head there. I'm calling it a draw, uh, even Stevens. Interesting, um, and again, showing just how good the uh, X64, the Intel emulation is on the ARM processors. Um, interesting, if you've enjoyed it, uh, please give this video a like. If you'd like to see more, then subscribe. Thanks very much for your time. Bye-bye.